Oregon's lush forests have long defined the state's identity, playing a crucial role in its history and economy. From pioneer days to the present, logging has been more than just an industry. It's a tradition interwoven with Oregon's cultural and economic fabric. I would characterize the people that work for us here in the St. Anne Canyon as having true grit. They're uh, hardworking, nature-loving. They've got sawdust in their veins. I think we've just really begun to tap the potential for wood products to achieve better outcomes in a whole lot of different areas of our lives. They're still working on ways to turn wood products into gas, into new types of fuel, into windows, into all sorts of different products that we just, we just haven't even begun to realize what we can do with wood yet. We're a very innovative company that's been around for a long time. And so we've done our part by creating our own patented wood product that we call a mass ply panel. That's a large format mass timber product that can be used to substitute concrete and steel in multi-story buildings. And not only do you get ecological benefits from converting a steel or concrete product to wood, but you actually get many other benefits which can be speed of construction, uh, it can be accuracy in the construction of those products, and basically a better building product for our urban environment. Upwards of 70% of the log material goes into making these high value products. Anything not used to produce panels is used to make other products. When we purchase a timber sale and the logs come to our facilities, we basically want to do the best we can to recover as much fiber from that log as we possibly can. We've paid for it, it makes economic sense to get the highest value we possibly can, but also makes, makes sense ecologically. So we make just about anything you can imagine out of a tree. And our primary products are, are really veneer, plywood, and engineered wood products. But we actually try to make higher value material out of anything we possibly can. For instance, even the residual from our cogeneration facility where we make power out of uh, waste wood materials, we will actually generate a product called biochar as well that can, can be used as an agricultural amendment. In an era where sustainability is more crucial than ever, wood products stand out as the compelling choice for eco-conscious consumers in industries. I think wood is, is maybe the only truly sustainable resource that we have to build out of. Um, historically, there's a lot of buildings made out of concrete and steel, and those are obviously much harsher on the environment. Um, where with wood, as long as you practice sustainable management, it's a resource that you can utilize into perpetuity. The products that we make rely on a particular type of veneer and what, really what we like to see is a slow growing, small knot, a profile veneer and the type of timber that comes from is typically a thinning type project. So we're talking about a small diameter timber that grows up in a suppressed stand. So really the ideal a product that comes out of a thinning type timber operation or an, an operation designed to reduce fuel loads and uh, density in timber stands. So we can utilize that, that small diameter timber that maybe a lot of other people can't and make a, make a higher value material out of it. This is wood that we uh, harvest the seed from orchards in Oregon. We grow the seedlings here in Oregon at nurseries. It's then trucked here, obviously using our own trucks, and then all of the labor comes from Oregon too. And so with every step of the process, it costs a lot of time and money, and it's great to have that all get recycled back into our own economy here. It's just, uh, it's an honor to be able to continue on the legacy of what I would look at as some of the titans of the industry. We feel like we're just standing on the shoulders of some truly extraordinary people that have been able to work with natural resources in this canyon for the last hundred years.